Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty, and I'm going to go one more time sniping in Modern Warfare 3. We're going to use the MCPR 300. It says iron up there, but it's not. It's got a scope on it. Some folks said they wanted to see a scope. I think it's too easy when you use a scope, but there it is. So I'm not going to go through the configuration in detail. You can see it right there above me and around me. Let's take this MCPR one final time, and I'll tell you why it's my final time in MW3. Now, I may visit again, may well visit again, but I'm not planning on it. Let's take it onto the field of honor a final time, see what it did for Grandpa, see what it did to Grandpa's mostly ironback, shoddy, and muppeting enemies. Let's go. Let's get into this. And you're going to hear me yapping in the background. I'm probably going to be cheering myself and booing the enemy and doing all the sorts of things that Grandpa does. And... One thing I want to remind you of tonight, and I'm talking about Wednesday, 24 oh October, is the Gaktoberfest, 6.30. It's a live stream, my final Modern Warfare 3 live stream. Everybody's invited. We can get most people in at one point or another to play. It's going to be a fun time. Bring your German beverages and later hosen. All right, so I said this was going to be my last time in Modern Warfare 3, and most likely it will be. And the reason why is because for the last month or so, it's devolved into very predictable patterns. For example, ironbacks. People are wearing ironbacks and carrying normal weapons. Now, it used to be you saw them running around with knives, thinking that they needed extra protection, which they really don't in Modern Warfare 3 because the knife is way overpowered. In fact, some of the newest users are very efficient and very effective using knives in Modern Warfare 3. I think even these knives only... Um, his videos have tended to go away from knifing because, at least for this title, you see a lot of extra weaponry use because the knifing is just so easy. In fact, it's almost to the cheese point. It's the prototypical cheese. The dual reclaimers. I, I'm telling you, they put the re dual reclaimers into this game, and we ended up with something that is so OP that anybody can use them and they will blow away players that are frankly much much more talented than the people with the reclaimers and generally dual reclaimers with an iron back are very new players just like the knifers are so they're getting their feet wet running around the map and the dual reclaimers i mean why not just give them a nuke you know just say hey all you Brand new players get to start out with a nuke. The game's over, drop the thing, call it in, whatever you want to do. Shotguns. Grandpa's seeing on the maps he plays, almost universally people are using shotguns or a lot of shotguns. You know, the spraying with the haymakers. You know, people just turning the corner, thump, 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 thump. You've all heard that, so. That's one thing I'm not enjoying. Once again, Activision or whoever you want to blame, Sledge, has put extremely OP weapons in that absolutely neutralize any skill. And the dual reclaimers will neutralize skill. And maybe that was their intention. Maybe it's their intention with the haymaker iron back combination. Now, Grandpa thinks that if you're wearing an iron back, it ought to significantly impede your movement speed. And the reason is it's a heavy weapon and it's always an active weapon. So if I'm running around, for example, with the MCPR, then I don't get to run that fast. When it's active, if I pull out a knife, like you can see me using the knife there, I uh, run a lot faster. But the iron back the shield is always active so it ought to have a significant impact on the movement speed of the player that thinks they need a shield in order to play call of duty now 
Shields worn by people on my team are awesome. The other team, not as much. Muppets. Muppets are everywhere now. I mean, they're on every corner. They're behind every head glitch. I think people are trying to raise their KD. And the whole notion of KD, I've gone over it many times. I don't believe it when somebody tells me their KD is 3.2. Okay, fine. If I haven't seen you play, then I just assume that it's actually a CD. Yes. KD is a misspelling. CD means you're camping death ray, right? So people that I haven't seen play that say they have a three KD, I don't believe it. I just believe they're campers. I'll be quite honest with you right now. That's why when people say, what's your KD? It's like saying, why don't you open your kimono and show me everything? Well, you can't. You can't completely know a player just by one basic glance of him wearing a bathing suit, right? So, yeah, sorry about that, but KD, as far as Modern Warfare 3 is concerned, should be called CD for the campers, for the Muppets. Camping starts with a C, not a K. And finally, the objective play has just gone and completely in the toilet. I mean, I have been in games where I'm the only person to capture a flag, where I'm the only person to fight to the hard point. Listen, it goes hand in hand with the CD, the camping death rate, or the kill death rate, KD. That's why I don't believe people, because they're in the corners, they're in the head glitches, they're not helping in any way, shape, or form if it's a complete random. There, I'm teabagging a, uh, huh. Teabagging an iron back, I got so frustrated by it. You can see in that game, nobody's on the, nobody's on the hard point. And I can't fight my way to it by myself, and everybody's camping in the back. I can't fight my way to it, and it's frustrating, and that's another outcropping of the statistic called KD. That's why I don't believe you. That's why I never will believe you, unless I play with you. I mean, there are certain players that we play with regularly that are elite Call of Duty players, and if they tell me they have a 3 or a 4 or a 5 KD, I'm going to believe it because I see them, I team with them, and I see that they do follow some sort of strategy. Either they soak or they capture the hard point and stay there like pros do until the designated soakers get there or whatever. So that's that. Now, like I said, that guy there, he killed, he killed my uh, execution, which is something that you just don't do. <laughs> you don't kill another man's execution. So I kind of acted childish about it. So in any case, I'm looking forward to Black Ops 6. Absolutely looking forward to it. If you have any of the same frustrations as me, Ooh, yeah. the campers, the dual reclaimers, which there are some guns that are good for countering. In fact, that Volt Storm jack kit for the Storm Ender does quite well, blows those guys away, as does most any other. Uh, most any other shotgun because at the end of the day guys like that you just saw there they're not that talented you'll be able to blow them away let's do another tea bag if we can have the time you know what it's worth the death so i hope to see you tonight at the gactoberfest everybody's welcome we do have a good time wear your later hosen and your felt cap bavarian cap with a feather coming out of it uh, uh, obviously not a bird of prey feather and we'll see you there your comments on Modern Warfare 3, on looking forward to Black Ops 6 like I am, are always welcome. Like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Helps me. Helps the family. Cheers. And as always, peace to you.